For the last seven months, not a day has gone by that we haven't reported on the coronavirus, shared the number of people infected or worse, the number of people who have died. The updates are critical to ensure we can all make personal decisions to help our community weather this pandemic. And right now, dozens of human clinical trials are underway on potential vaccines that could prevent the virus and more importantly, save lives. Tens of thousands of people around the world are taking part in these studies, and our own Robin Wilhoyt is one of them. This is her reason why. I love taking care of things. And that's why I think this has been so hard, because we have not been able to embrace and to touch and to, you know, give a big kiss on the side of the cheek. And when that's a part of who you are, that makes it that much more difficult. The governor today signed an executive. Now the number of people who have worked in East Tennessee, people volunteered. Listening to stories, hearing the experts, and basically they keep, keep saying over and over, this isn't going to end until there's vaccine. And then these opportunities for clinical trials came out and then came to East Tennessee. I just really started thinking, why not? Why not be a part of this clinical trial if it's going to get us to that end result of having a vaccine or vaccines that will end it all? I can do this. This is my personal decision to do something that will change what is playing out right now, that will change the direction we're going. I want my entire family protected. My children who are college kids, and, and as we well know, college kids are some of those who are um, the super spreaders right now. I don't want them to be that. My sister is uh, a doctor who is working on the front lines, and she is knowingly putting herself at risk every day she walks into that clinic. I want her protected. My mom is a retired nurse. And my mom, her job in this life is to take care of other people. Right now, she is in a retirement community where she can't engage with the people she wants to engage with. I can't see her. I haven't seen her since the beginning of the year. And I can tell just, especially late, lately when I talk to her, it's getting to her. You know, we are a very touchy-feely family. We love to hug. We, it's just who we are. So to not be able to see her face to face, much less hug her, it's been hard. So what's it going to be like the first time you're able to just touch your mom? Oh. Awesome. Um, We've talked about it. Um, it'll be great. I'm super close with my mom and have always been. Um, I lost my dad seven years ago. <laughs> so she's no parent I have. And I just want her healthy and happy. And I just want to hug her. And tell her I missed her face to face. It's not normal for me to be doing a story on me. It's not what we do. I think it's so important to share with our viewers what this is about, what is the hope, and what does it take to get there. I go into this knowing there are going to be critics and knowing that there are going to be people who question what I'm doing, but I'm not questioning what I'm doing. I feel very confident in my decision going forward. You ready? Mm -hmm. Some people have would call you brave for doing this. What, what do you say to them? I'm not brave. No, that is definitely not a word I would um, would claim by any means. I just think, for me, it's the right thing to do, and it may not be the right thing for you to do, but for me, I feel helpless.
So when I started hearing about this, I just felt this was something I could do that could hopefully make a difference. The journey yeah. continues coming up in the next half hour. We explain how a clinical trial works and then on 10 News at 6, Robin takes us along on that journey of hope to find a vaccine that could protect us from COVID-19 and save lives.